Alright guys, I want to show you how to recharge alkaline batteries and also to show you that they can actually be charged uh, to some extent. I got a Duracell alkaline actually expired in 2011 and a GP alkaline made in China <laughs> you can recharge these uh, with like a normal charger they, it does work but usually they have to be pulsed the charging uh, has to be pulsed like 20 to 30 times a second or something like that uh, I can't remember uh, can't remember, but the charging current is uh, 2.4 volts DC, and usually it's 1.5 plus 1.5 is 3 volts. I don't, I'm not sure why it's only 2 volts here, but at 1.2 amps, that's way too high to charge alkaline batteries uh, instead of NIMH. So you don't want to use use something like this. This is like a quick charger for a Kodak. Yeah, see it says rapid battery charger. Yeah, you don't want to use something like that. What you want to use is something with a lot less current output. See, I've got these batteries charging here. There's a they're Duracell alkaline battery. You know, they expired in 2017, but I had them in my flashlight for quite a while. And uh, they finally, you know, just went dead. I couldn't use the flashlight anymore. So, I got it on my Energizer battery charger. We'll go ahead and pull it off real quick. And these alkaline batteries do gas. Especially uh, when you charge them like, you know, on the regular charger. But this one, it only outputs 2.8 volts at only 200 milliamps. And it's a triple A size for 80 milliamps, double A size, 200 milliamps. So that is a lot better. With alkaline batteries, I think they have the charging rate at 150 milliamps. The ones that you can just make. I've looked up on YouTube. And I've seen people actually making them uh, at 150 milliamp charge, you know, with the pulses, though. I don't think this pulses it. So, we're going to test these batteries I have here that's been charging for maybe five minutes. 1.39. I charged them before. Uh, for about a half hour, 45 minutes, and they had 1.5 volts, or 1.55, I think. And my flashlight was really bright then. These are the original batteries that actually came with the flashlight. 1.38 there. So. And these batteries were completely dead. Flashlight wouldn't even light up or nothing. Yeah, it's a lot brighter than what it was when they uh, were <laughs> pretty much dead. So I want to show you that these actually charge or take a charge with a regular charger. 1.37 volts on that one. And on the Duracell that expired in 2011 has 1.32. So we're going to go ahead and put it on the charger. And they're charging. There's a red light there. Yeah. So we'll just wait a, about a minute or so while that charges. Yeah, I mean, 
Charging them really does the trick. I might actually make a specialized charger that they have up on YouTube and you know these websites and everything showing you how to make them that uh, will actually pulse the charge 20 or 30 times a second. I'm not sure how how many times, but I'll uh, see if I can't make one that specifically charges alkaline batteries. Because if you do it this way with the uh, a normal charger, and try not to do a ra try not to get a, a rapid charger, uh, get a regular one that only outputs like uh, 150 to like 300 milliamps or so, and you know about a half hour, 45 minutes, they'll be you know 80 percent charged or so, and uh, if you charge them any longer, they'll probably gas really bad and they might even explode. Um, but yeah, I mean, just for like a flashlight or something, maybe an Xbox 360 controller, they'll last quite a while. Just recharging them without having to buy them expensive uh, NIMH uh, batteries from, you know, Walmart or whatever for like eight bucks a pack just for four of them. Heck, you can go to Dollar General and uh, buy a four pack of alkaline batteries, double A's, for uh, a dollar. <laughs> and you can recharge them. So, that's a really good deal there. So, I don't know, it's been charging for about a minute or so. Let's go ahead and check the uh, charge on them. That one's already up at 1.43. At 1.48. Pretty much right where they're uh, supposed to be. 1.5, 1.55 or so. And it's I'm keeping it on here and it seems like it's holding a charge. You know, I've only had it on here for just a couple minutes, but it's... uh. They definitely hold a charge. I've had these flashlight batteries off a of charge for probably a couple weeks and it's still really bright. So, yeah. Recharging alkaline batteries, they do work. <laughs> Even if it's already expired. So don't throw your old alkaline batteries away. Go ahead and uh, stick them in your charger. You know, the, if they blow up, they blow up. I mean, it's not going to hurt you or anything. It's not really super toxic. It just, if they do blow up or leak in here, these parts in here might corrode. Just, just pull them out, throw them in the trash, and wipe it off with some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, cotton swab. And, you know, you, you'll get like three, four times more of the life out of these alkaline batteries than you would, you know, just throwing them away and buying new ones. That's a waste of money. So go ahead and charge them back up. Even if it's just a regular charger, just make sure you don't put them on that long. And like I said, he's only been charging for like just a few minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these back on the charger and get them back up to uh, about 1.5. That's where they're supposed to be. If you look on them, these double A's will be 1.5 volts. Yeah. Oh, dropped it. Dropped it again. Yep, 1.5 volts. So just make sure you take it off the charger every like 10, 15 minutes and uh, make sure it's at about 1.5. And once it gets there, and just take it off the charger and, you know, and it'll be pretty much 80% charged by then. Maybe put them on the charger, leave them on the charger for an extra 5, 10 more minutes maybe. 
and uh, they'll be fully charged. So there you go.